welcome everyone to our Wise Provocation session for today. I'm Megan Clement, Managing Editor for Women and Girls at News Deeply. But you're not here to hear from me today. We've got a wonderfully diverse lineup for you this afternoon. You'll hear from founders, CEOs, investors, researchers, mentors, and educators, all here to share their cutting edge ideas on innovation in education. These ideas will hopefully inspire you to go away and learn more about how their ideas can shape your own practice. At News Deeply, we build single topic platforms that combine journalistic reporting, expert analysis, and community insights. We cover the world's most important subjects in depth, from the refugee crisis to the future of our oceans, and in my case, the challenges and successes of women and girls in the developing world. As a journalist working on education and how it can make a difference for girls and women worldwide, I know how important innovation is in this sphere. Every challenge we cover at News Deeply can be traced back to the question of equitable, high quality education, be it gender based violence, financial inclusion, teen pregnancy rates, or the fight against HIV AIDS. And everyone in this room today knows that education can make the difference between a happy and prosperous life and a life of poverty and discrimination. But as a journalist, and for us as educators, we can only be as good as the latest thinking on how best to make change in people's lives. And we do not fix the problems in education by working alone and only talking to people we agree with. It will take input and investment from all sectors of society and all fields to close education gaps and make sure the next generation is free from discrimination and ready to take part in the changing global economy. When it comes to my profession as a journalist, you will hear many people say that this is an era of bad information, fake news and trolling, clickbait and hate campaigns. But the truth is, as journalists and, and as educators, we've never been more connected across borders and never more able to search out solutions to the world's biggest issues, of which education is surely one. Now we just have to take those solutions to scale. There is no diluting the power of a good idea. Our challenge is to harness that power to give students the skills to understand how and why we consume media and what high quality evidence based information looks like. Journalism has a key role to play in disseminating information as widely and as accessibly as possible, and so do events like the Wise Summit today. It's never been easier to have the conversations that we're going to have today and to take those ideas and implement them both online and offline. We make change by forming communities around good ideas that work and by allowing our assumptions to be challenged by new thinking. So let's hear some of that thinking. We're going to hear first today from Florian Hoffman, founder of the Do School. This is an award winning social enterprise that believes good business is the best solution to the world's biggest challenges. Florian is going to share insights from his wide experience working with talented people around the world. He'll explain why the most crucial skill set for our times is to be able to relate one's passion to a purpose. Please welcome Florian Hoffman. How are you guys doing? Oh, you, 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 you. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? Good energy? Yes, wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. You know, one of the sentences that all of us use the most at the moment is, our world is changing quickly. And we're probably using it so often because we're trying to come to grips with it, what it means for our own lives. We're all united here because we're passionate about education and there's many, many topics that need work on. But what this change in the world does is it requires us to rethink how we continue to learn throughout our lives. We ourselves, our children, maybe even our parents. And the reason why I'm here and why I'm really excited to be at Vice and to, uh, to be in front of all of you is because I believe that we're predominantly going about this the wrong way. The way we're thinking and we're acting with regards to how we become lifelong learner, I think, is not yet well done. So let's briefly look at this. You know, there's amazing stuff happening in EdTech and online learning. Um, it becomes more individualized, it becomes more customized. Sharing of information is unprecedented. But there are also sort of some good uh, traditional bits out there, executive education, there is corporate academies out there. And what do they nevertheless all focus on? Knowledge, sort of 
how do I share information, how do I give knowledge, how do I train skills. And that is important, but I think there's something that's even more important. So before I launched the Do School, I, you know, I, I was really curious about, pretty much I came from the same vantage point. So what skills do people need in a quickly changing world to create success for themselves, but also others? And I had the privilege to work with around 50 global leaders, uh, Nobel Peace Prize nominees, um, big entrepreneurs, famous researchers. And I traveled the world um, and worked with them. And you know what they all said, no matter whether I talked to the left-wing activists in India or uh, sort of the very conservative hedge fund manager in New York. They said, it's not about knowledge. It's not about um, ideas. It's not about being creative. Actually, what creates success for you as an individual in times of change is the ability to take an idea and make it happen, to actually implement, execute. And while that might not sound so sexy, I think it's a really deep concern in a world where we're obviously not only concerned with sort of educating people to create success for themselves, you know, monetary, or personal, but also with regards to sort of how do we educate people to actually take the many challenges that concern us all. So since then, um, well by now we're working with young entrepreneurs from over 85 countries, we're working with thousands of employees, we work with some of the biggest uh, CEOs and government leaders, and if I reflect and I look for a moment at what makes people actually great in times of change to be able to create value for themselves and others, it's not so much about knowledge. It is about actually being able to relate your own passion to a purpose. It's the ability to actually go out and understand your user. It's the ability to test something quickly and cheaply and then to actually move on and learn from sort of the mistakes that you've made. And I want to make that just um, very sort of specific in the world of business because there it's so clear. You know, Fortune 500 index, it's the most valuable 500 companies in the world. 50% of those have changed in the last 17 years, 50%. So the change is unprecedented. And if I talk to a CEO, will the CEO of a big corporate tell me that they're investing in sort of training their employees in different skills? Of course, and he's very excited about that. But when I ask him, what will actually create the future success of your business? They don't talk about that. They talk about something very different. They talk about how do my people actually understand my purpose? How can I make them take more proactive decisions? How do they become more entrepreneurial? How do they become faster on the ground to decide in, on the values of the collective? Because if they don't start to decide quickly, we're too slow and then we're gone. So I hope that example illustrates what I'm trying to share with you today, namely that even though, you know, um, the information revolution that's out there is incredible, the online learning, the ad tech, all that is incredibly important. But what I truly believe what we need to start doing is we need to start creating frameworks, we need to start to use methods that empower people to start to create value for themselves and others and to understand what it is they want and to make them able to act and to actually have the experience themselves of what it means to be an, ex uh, an, an efficient doer. So that's the quest that I'm on. If you wanted to share that quest of actually empowering people to create amazing results, talk to me after. And I wish you a wonderful session. Thank you.